Welcome to the training video for setting wizards on Racecan Alpha Plus. Thank you for your great supports with Ray products. The purpose of this video is to understand the meaning of steps, navigate the software and utilize tool. Also, improve support capability for better communication. You might bring the phantoms with you all the time to troubleshoot any cases of support. Light Fandom is the reference to check the actual radiation areas, and the guide LED lights. Ball Fandom will be used to align the physical location of a detector. Pano Arc Fandom is the most common used tool. This video will cover more details later on. Finally, the optional Phantom is DVT for software alignments. This is the flowchart of the setting wizards. If you need any further support, please contact CS Group. To run the software, go to My Computer, C Drive, then go to Ray Folder, and execute Setting Wizards. Note, the IP address of the touch screen is, 192.168.2.101. Alignments. This step guides to adjust the tube tilt initial position. You have to make sure the tube head laser points at the groove as the figure. Failing on this step results in some shades, or out of the exposure areas as figure. Refer to Notice 5, Section 2 on Installation Manual for more details. System Calibration In this step, you will regenerate the detector calibration file to run setting wizards. Note, the tube front case must be covered on before expose. Sensor alignment. This step guides to realign the detector positions. Simply, put the ball phantom on the chin rest, and click start button to expose. The system automatically extracts 4 points from the result image. It fails on the first trial, try a couple of more times before you do any adjustments. If keeps failing, the hardware alignment might be done. Let's take a look at how to do the adjustment. Geometry. This is one of the most important steps of the alignment. Once start button is pressed, the system automatically finds two pins, and measures the distance in between the points. This allows the device goes to the correct rotation position, and makes proper arc for panoramic images. If fails on the first trial, try a couple of more times before you do any adjustments. If keeps failing, start over the entire panoramic alignments beam alignment. You can realign the Frankfurt and Minsagital lasers if they are off the location. This step is manual adjustment, and refer to installation manual for more details. Next is K9. K9 laser is the key reference to get perfect panoramic images. So, this step is also quite important as well. Put the panoramic arc phantom on the chin rest, and click start to begin. Use touch screen to move the gantry back and forth. The laser might locate at the groove as the figure. If fails, go back to tilt section, and double check before you move on to the next step. Remote pairing. The remote is already paired from the factory. So, you need to do this step in case of part replacement. Click start button for activating the pair mode. Press four corners. Then press single button in red to finish the process. To realign the collimations, repeat X-ray collimation step, until you match the red and blue lines. Blue line stands for the guide line from the system, and red line is actual exposed areas. The final result is dependable on step 2 and 3. Repeat the steps as one set, until you get complete message. Let's take a look at how to do the adjustment.
take off the detector case, and attach the light phantom onto the detector. Use arrow buttons on the remote to fit into the rectangular. The final result is dependable on step 2 and 4. Repeat the steps as one set. Let's take a look at how to do the adjustment. After scan panoramic arc phantom, the system will extract four pins automatically to realign the device. If any missing, click manually the point to proceed the step. Let's take a look at how to do the adjustment. To realign panoramic collimations, repeat this step, until you match the red and blue lines. Blue line stands for the guideline from the system, and red line is actual exposed areas. The final result is dependable on step 2 and 3. Repeat the steps as one set, until you get complete message. After realign the collimators, you can check the actual exposed areas and beam field section. If the X-ray field is not in the middle, click the area to shift on. Let's take a look at how to do the adjustment. Cephalo alignment. You will adjust the two bangles to align K9 laser. Note, you must use the left tilt stopper to move the laser into the notch. After realign the laser, use exposure switch or column up down buttons on the remote. So, the scan CEF sensor moves in between the grooves. To realign scan CEF collimations, repeat X ray collimation step until you match the red and blue lines. Blue line stands for the guideline from the system, and red line is actual exposed areas. The final result is dependable on step 2 and 3. Repeat the steps as one set, until you get complete message. Switch to PA position and fold up the Nasion. Attach the light phantom on the back of Nasion block. Use arrow buttons on the remote, to fit into the rectangular. The final result is dependable on step 2 and 4, and repeat the steps as one set. To realign the secondary collimator, the blue line must be in the middle of the result image. Otherwise, move the red line at the center, and click to make adjustment. Repeat the step until you get complete message. In the live section, you can verify the scan such collimation is accurate. If you fail on this step, start over the entire scan CEF alignments. In this step, you can verify the location of the Nasion. Pull all the way out means maximum, and all the way in is minimum. The last step is ear load. Red circle indicates the focal spot of the image. So, the ball might be inside, and the ring should be located outside of it. Refer to Notice 5 Section 16 on Installation Manual for more details. The sensor might be recalibrated on site, since the temperature and humidity changes during the shipping. Make sure you don't leave any parts on the chin rest module. Also, the tube front case must be covered before proceed. 
pano and CT calibrations are straightforward. But, you need to pay more attention on cephalo section. Switch to PA position. And fold up the nasion bar. Then move the ear rods to the maximum position before proceed. Software alignment. The purpose of this step is to recalibrate the CT numbers on site. You need DVT Phantom to qualify the acceptance test. Note, you may or may not do this step depending on your country. You can update to new CT numbers in acquisition section. If you need to make adjustment on specific protocol, you can load up the saved scan files. Ray recommends backup all data after new installation, so, you can prepare the technical support in the future. Also, you will make backup the MCU parameters before replace the MCU. Backup button saves only device parameters in text file, at, C drive, Ray folder, setting wizards. To restore the data to the new MCU, simply click on restore button. All backup, allows to save other essential files, such as calibration files, system folder, to operate the device. You can choose the location to save the data. In order to update the official package, and new MCU after replacement, click the navigator, and click update. For demonstration or scancef upgrade, you need to match the device code as corresponding. By clicking change codes button, you can select device model, type of Ceph, and demo mode. For more information on setting wizards of Racecan Alpha Plus, please consult installation manual. Thank you for watching how to use setting wizards on Racecan Alpha Plus.